Alright, welcome back to my opinion. Um, this little video is going to be about the economy. Now, I'm clearly not an economist, but I did have Econ 1, 101 and 102, uh, micro and macro. So I do know enough to know, and also, you know, not just from Econ classes, but um, what economists say. The Biden administration and the Biden uh, economists, if you want to call them that, you know, they are the people that got us here today, um, are claiming we're not in a recession. All you have to do is look up the definition of a recession. Two quarters with negative growth, negative GDP, okay? If you have two quarters of that, you're in a recession. That's just the way it is. That's the definition of. Now, they're claiming because of the Biden administration's claiming because of job growth, and I'll explain that in a second, we are not in a recession. Yes, we are. Even with the job growth, we are in a recession. Two quarters of negative growth, of negative GDP, uh, GDP going down, equals recession. That's the definition of a recession. Now, back to the topic of um, jo uh, job growth. There is no job growth. If there is, it's very little. People are not... They're, it's not new jobs out there. It's people are going back to work because they've ran out of the stimulus checks. They've ran out of their, their money that they got for staying home. It's people just going back to work. It's not new jobs created. It's jobs coming back online. It's, you know, <laughs> it's jobs that are, are having to uh, rehire more people to fill the old jobs. It's not new job growth. It's not like, you know, Toyota's building another plant and uh, uh, Facebook is uh, uh, developing new things and so forth and hiring a bunch of people. UPS needs more airline pilots and, and is building another airport somewhere. It, that's not what that's not happening. It's old jobs people are going back to work. That's not growth. And they're not counting also the people who are not going back to work, the people who are out of the job market. Uh, and that makes unemployment look like it's going down. That's unemployment's not going down, it's just people aren't, a lot of people aren't, still aren't going back to work. How they're doing it, I have no idea. I don't know how these people are not working. I, I, I never understood even with the stimulus checks in the height of this whole uh, COVID thing. How in the world are you living off $1,200 a month? Not even a month. Every so often, every couple months, several months, whatever they did, you know, to give people that. And the, and the, um, uh, extra money, three or four hundred dollars or something, if you had a kid each month or something, that's not enough to pay your rent. Where are you living at? That your rent is that low that you can do that. Anyway, but yeah, that's we are in a recession. The biggest problem is not the fact that we're in a recession, but that they are denying it, which means they're doing. They're not doing what they need to be doing to slow down this recession. They're doing a few things here and there, like raising, you know, the Fed raising the interest rates, etc. And look at how much they're raising them. So it's a little more dire straits than they're letting on. We are definitely in a recession, and if we're not careful and we don't get some people in there, in the, in our uh, White House and our Capitol. And get some of these rhinos out of there who have been there 30 years. and Like Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi. we got to get those people out of there. 
it's time for term limits. But if you don't believe we're in a recession, look up the definition of recession. And then look at, you know, just look around you. You can t look at the homeless. The look at all the, if you live in a city, look at all the closings. You're in a recession. Now let's do something about it. Let's vote these numbskulls out. Let's vote these idiots out who are just concerned about their own, you know, stock, uh, like Nancy Pelosi going over to Taiwan to see if she can make some more money. Watch. Guaranteed there'll be some big giant land deal or something she'll have something to do with or her husband. But anyway, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, be safe and stay safe. Thanks, everybody.